Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the three famous salmon rivers of New Zealand. All of them are located in Canterbury. First one is the Rangitata River on the south. Then we're going to go to the Rakaia River. And in the end, we'll check out the Waimakairi River in the north of Christchurch. So these are the three main rivers. Of course, you can also find salmon in some of the smaller rivers and even on the west coast and on the south coast of New Zealand. Lake salmon. That's definitely my personal best. March is probably the best month to target those salmon here. That's when they are most active and when they're running up into the high country. So most of the fishing is concentrated around the river mouths. The river mouths of these three main rivers, they have pretty small mouths. All the salmon have to pass through this mouth to uh, swim up into the higher country. Those river mouths are also very difficult to access if you don't have an ATV. You, some of them you have a long walk uh, to walk along the lagoons to get to the mouth. The one that is most accessible is probably the Weimark River. Here in the north of Christchurch, you can drive right to the river mouth. Uh, and there are a few spots where you can um, fish for those salmon. And it's also a, quite a productive uh, river for salmon. So guys, my name is Mark and I'm the creator of fishingreminder.com. If you haven't been there, check it out. We predict the best fishing times to help you catch more fish. Also, if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down there. So let's go ahead and check out the Rangitata river mouth first. There's a nice campground right next to the river mouth and the large lagoon is pretty accessible from all sides. The best time to fish for them is just before or after a nice southerly front is coming through. Just after a bit of rain when the river starts changing its color to a sort of greenish, that's sort of a trigger for those salmon to start running up the river. So the best lures to target salmon here seem to be those uh, green and white Z spinners or silver Z spinners. They have to be quite heavy to get to the bottom. Salmon, when they run up the rivers, they hug the bottom and they're not really feeding, they're kind of attacking the lures out of aggression. So you need a heavy enough lure and a big enough lure to reach the bottom of the rivers when you fish for salmon. We are now at the Arundel Bridge, which is also a quite a popular spot to target salmon a little bit later in the season. Yeah, let's have a look what that area looks like here. Who the hell is this Morpork guy? He leaves those kind of graffitis everywhere here in this area. Right, so that over there is the Arundel Bridge. cool area to access the Rangitata River is the Peel Forest Campground just past the Arundel Bridge. Let's have a look around here. So guys this is one of the few dock campgrounds here in New Zealand that has some cabins you can stay in.
Right guys, so I'm here at the Raikaya river mouth. Everyone I've spoken to recently told me that there aren't many salmon left, uh, which is a shame, you know, this is a really good river and uh, I wonder why there aren't, aren't so many salmon left anymore. Do you guys have any ideas? What do you think? Um, most people reckon it's because of the pollution and the farming in this area. Of course, every year is different with salmon. Some years have a really good salmon run, some years don't. But there's still a lot of folks coming here at the peak of the salmon season. There's a good boat ramp here. You can launch your boat and that's probably the most successful method. Like most river mouths here of those three main South Island uh, rivers, they have a big lagoon and a small river mouth only and all the salmon have to come through there of course on their way up into the mountain. Yeah so it's still a really good spot for fishing, the, probably the most famous New Zealand salmon fishing river and uh, definitely worth a try and yeah I hope it can be improved and the salmon fishery can be restored to its former glory. As you can see, the Rakaya Gorge is extremely beautiful and there's also a really cool campsite right next to it in a small settlement called Wind Whistle. Highly recommend to go there for some salmon fishing. This spot works best late in the season, especially during March. Right, so our last salmon river is the Waimakariri River, a little bit north of Christchurch. It's a very accessible river mouth there. You can drive your car right next to the mouth and park there. The best fishing here is at the top half of the outgoing tide, especially when this occurs in the morning. Further up, we've got a beautiful gorge area again, which fishes very good later in the season. The area around Springfield is particularly beautiful and has a really remote kind of feel to it. Just beautiful fishing out there. Alright everybody, so I hope you enjoyed our video about those three famous salmon rivers here on the South Island of New Zealand. Really cool rivers and uh, it's well worth trying to catch a salmon here. It's a real excitement to catch a salmon. It's hard work, you have to put in a lot of time but give it a try. And if you catch a salmon here, head over to fishingreminder.com and upload a photo. We love to see your guys' photos there. And we'll see you in the next video.